We're having fun here. We're having sea run cutthroat orama. Uh, earlier, I was just doing a little bit of lamenting that you really can't get good badger hackles these days for sea run cutthroat flies. And so we got a got a rib there is either uni or laggerton. This Golden. fly, this fly is called what? This is, I'm sorry, Chris. This is a spruce fly substitute. Spruce fly substitute. Modern materials or, Modern or the badger is really the key well, stuff yeah, here. Well, yeah, we, we don't really have badger, but we have something that's really, really close. So if you wanted to, you could put on a um, peacock sword feather for a tail. I'm not a fan of tails, so I omit that, but the Chinese red uni yarn is really nice. Where's my purple? Use purple. I could use an olive. I'm going to mix it up a little bit here. Um, so we, we're going to come up with a saddle hackle here that's going to be really create the impression of a badger hackle. And that's why I wanted to do this fly, because it's kind of a neat color combination. You notice with this uni yarn how nice it spins on, and how you can create a nice tapered body. It has just a little bit fuzzier than floss, much tougher than floss. And I really like these uh, oval tinsels. So I'm going to be a little bit crowded at the head of this fly after my hackle's tied on. So I'm going to use this technique to tie on my Mirage Flashaboo here. Wind it, bend it forward. And then I'm going to Trim it off a little bit there. So it's going to be all ready. So this is the Grizzly Variant Strong Saddle Hackle. And I picked out one to use. And if you can look at it, it's got some hints of, it's badger hints, it really is. Um, and you, you do have to do quite a bit of sorting in those saddle hackles but you can find them that are nice and webby and are nicely marked and just the right size and this is no you could use straight grizzly that would be just fine but if you want to be a bit of a traditionalist now I'm folding that hackle just gently running my scissors along that and that helps helps make a V-shape, helps that hackle lay back. As I'm winding this, I'll, I will let you know, every once in a while you'll find one of these hackles that won't wind on the way you want it. It's because there's a twist in the stem. When you find that, just give up on it quickly. Use a different part of the same feather, or use a different feather. Now, there is some debate over how fully one should hackle a sea run cutthroat fly. This is what I would consider a little bit on the sparse side. If you look in Les Johnson's book, you'll see a lot of those flies are very sparsely hackled. Now I'm going to bend my wing material forward and try to get it to behave. Now, in, in those strong saddles, you'll find saddles suitable from, from about a size 10 down to a size 6. A 6 and an 8 are really good. You have to stock your box with a couple sizes. Those are the ones you want to go to. So here you have. Boy, these Oakley... Polaroid glasses really make it. They're really nice for fly tying, Chris. Thanks for wanting these two. Aren't those comfortable? There you go. It's it's a badger type of hackle. Chinese red butt, purple, 
Tinsel, Mirage Flash Boo Wing, Killer for C Runs.